What's going on guys? Hope you guys are all well. Um, so yeah, this is a Minoxidil update. This is the second month. And initially I wasn't going to do this, but I noticed a lot of significant gains. So I thought, you know what, why don't I try it out? So the first month, actually I'll go recap that. The first month of using Minoxidil, you can clearly see that there was no gains at all. Um, it was like very insignificant. I was not making any gains. Um, you guys can tell. I, I made the video. You guys can check it out. It was not going too well. Now, the second month, things started growing a little bit. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. There are hairs here. If I wet my face, you guys can see, like, a beard kind of growing. And this side, I can't see from this, from my peripheral. But this side's a little bit slower. Um, if you guys can see, the side is a little bit slower. But maybe you guys can see a little bit here. And, yeah, so... You guys can see some hairs here. Now, what did I do differently? I stopped applying shea butter on my skin and I started using Tijan Lee. I ordered that for, for my skin, so I started doing that. Um, this is actually my first bottle and it, there's still some left in here. So this thing lasts a really long time and I applied it twice a day. I apply this thing twice a day, uh, one time when I wake up and then one time when I sleep. Another thing that I did, and it might be a factor as well, before when I would use Minoxidil, I would put it on at 11 p.m. And then I would put it at around 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning, uh, simply because I would pray in the morning and then I would put it on. But instead, I actually now what I do is I put it on at 11 p.m. And then I apply it at around 7 or 8 a.m., 9 a.m., around that time. So about four hours. So that also plays a factor as well so i kind of changed that up as well uh but yeah you guys can see that there are some gains here um now what am i gonna do for the third month so the third month i'm i'm probably expecting hairs to actually pop, pop up here like actual visible hairs from like afar so what i'm hoping to do within the third month is i'm gonna start taking biotin so i'm gonna see how that works i just ordered biotin so i'm gonna try that out and see how that works um i've been thinking about a derma roller but i do have sensitive skin so i don't want to use derma roller i'm pretty patient with this anyways um yeah i think that's all i'm gonna really be doing um, i'm gonna look at some beard oils some creams and stuff like that i'm gonna look at that kind of stuff but um yeah this is something that it actually does work um obviously it is genetic so i can see that the beard is gonna probably grow like around here so it's not gonna grow like like i see some people have like beards like here uh, it depends on your facial structure too, but um, yeah, I could see, you could you guys can actually see it like it's pretty like visible. You guys can see the hairs. Now this side, I, my peripherals, I don't want to saw my peripheral here, but you guys can actually see a beard here as well. Um, now here there are some like patches here, so uh, I don't know if I have to apply. It. I've been applying it here as well, and then here I I do have a patch here as well. So I've had this patch since I first grew a beard, like just a goatee. And you guys can actually see, if you guys look, my, my actual beard and my mustache are, are getting a lot thicker too. Like this side's starting to grow a little bit. Um, and I actually do have, I'm starting to get like hairs on like my, my arms and like my legs as well. So that's, that's a, I guess that's a, a factor of Minoxidil. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think. Let me know if you guys are currently applying Minoxidil. Um, the first month, I, I thought, man, I'm never going to grow this. And then the second month, there was a lot of changes. I think the main thing was I stopped applying shea butter, which is a DHT blocker. I think that was a huge, huge factor. Um, my brother does apply shea butter too, though, so I have to ask him about that. But that, I think, is the main, main factor of, as to why I was able to grow with Minoxidil. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the third month. The third month, it should start to fill in a little bit. Um Obviously, you guys know I'm going to start taking biotin. I'm going to start doing all these different things. So that is something as well. And stay tuned. I do have a Tijan Lee review as well coming in. Um, as you guys know, I've been using that instead of shea butter. So yeah, you know, like it's cool. When I take a shower, I can actually see it, like see it properly. I can push it down a little bit. Um, obviously, right now, I'm pretty sure it's Vela's hair. So I'm going to give it about five months of usage i think that then by then I'll, I'll actually have like a beard coming in like not a their beard but like just like you'll actually see the hair is kind of like like here uh the length i want it uh, maybe i'm gonna trim this a little bit but yeah we'll see anyways guys thanks for watching um let me know your monoxidal growth and i will talk to you guys in a future bit peace